I'm here to show you the side of real estate that HGTV doesn't show. By starting off with showing you the behind the scenes of a real estate deal, if I can get my buyer's offer accepted, then he will finally be a homeowner. But in this very competitive Chicagoland market, can I actually pull this off? Let's get right into it. Off to hit a few showings with my buyer right now. And in this video, I want to show you everything that, you know, the TV shows don't show because, you know, it's just basically entertainment for those TV shows. They make everything seem super easy when in all reality it is not easy at all you know when you get into this business you're gonna know within the first few months that it's just you know there's it's a grind you need to put a lot of time and effort into your clients and business and just everything overall and you need to wear a lot of different hats you're not just a realtor you're also an accountant for your business you're a marketer you're a salesman so you know it's a lot harder than everyone makes it seem but when I go on these showings I like to focus on you know my clients and you know their wants and needs what do they need in a property whether it's a certain location that they want or if it's a certain type of layout or condition that's just the three main things that I like to focus on when it comes to buying a property you know that's not the easiest at all as well especially in this market right now in the Chicago area and all these houses that are coming up on the market under 300,000 whether it's a townhome or a single family are most likely getting multiple offers within the first few days of it being listed so you're just gonna have to put out strong offers you know on these properties whether it's 20% down or you're waiving an appraisal you're waiving a home inspection so essentially my advice to you if you're looking to buy now or within the next three to six months through all out of 2024 I would save as much as possible try and have at least 20% down on a down payment for the property it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to get accepted and the reasoning is because these sellers are getting offers on these properties that are 20% down or more so you just need to have a good strong financing option anything between you know a 3% down to a 10% down pre-approval unfortunately is most likely not going to get accepted again it really just depends on the location and the property itself but yeah those are just my you know advice tips for you guys i i want you guys to buy your first property i don't want you to keep renting because in all reality renting is it's a waste of time and money it really is if you're spending two thousand dollars a month on a property or a unit you know that's twenty four thousand dollars in a year that you're, you're spending just to live in that unit that's twenty four thousand of your hard earned income and it's just really going nowhere when it comes to you buying a property you know it's built in equity right so if you're paying two thousand dollars a month it's going towards equity towards your house and then once you sell the house in the future whether it's 10 years 20 years it's going to have appreciated by a good amount and then when you sell the property you are most likely going to make a good amount of money depending on when you sell so that's one of the reasons and let's say you you know you buy a property in the first year you change your mind you don't like the location or whatever it's too far from work you can rent out that property and then make money and then just buy another property so you buy a house 200,000 you don't like it you move into another house rent that one out and then you're getting cash flow from that property so there's just a lot of benefits to buying your first property again it doesn't have to be a huge house it doesn't have to be three hundred thousand dollars it could be you know 150 to 200 on a condo but yeah it just really depends on you know what you're looking to accomplish and when it comes to real estate always think the long term don't think too much about you know the eight percent interest rates or seven percent interest rates that's just my advice to you guys All right, the showings went well. Now I'm gonna head over to my computer and then run some numbers, look at the comparable, see what those are looking like, and then wait to hear back from my client. All right, so you're looking to put in an offer? All right, perfect. So what I'm going to do is send over first the offer, which is 13 pages, and then I'm gonna send over the disclosures as well. As far as the disclosures go, it's gonna be the real property disclosure, the radon, and then this one was built before 1978, so I'm gonna send over the lead-based paint. So as far as the offer goes itself, 13 pages. The first two are the most important, so it just shows the purchase price and then the earnest money. And then the second page is the closing 
dates that's going to be at the top and then the rest are just just a lot of wording and then the last paper or the last sheet is going to be you know your signature and everything and then it's also going to require your initials at the bottom of each page but yeah other than that i'm going to set this up right now put in all of the information and then i'm going to send this over to you through docusign and then you can feel free to sign this through your computer or your app and then other than that i'll let you know when i send everything over we should be good to go from there sound good all right, thank you. Good morning, this is Zach Compass Real Estate. Hi, how are you? Okay, so you received multiple offers on this property and then you're calling for highest and best by 2987. All right, perfect. Yeah, let me give my client a call and then see what he's looking to do. All right, thank you. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I actually did receive all of the paperwork back, so thank you for that. And then I just did hear back from the agent as well, and they did say that there is multiple offers on this property, and then they're calling for a highest and best by tonight at 7 p.m. So yeah, basically they, what highest and best means is highest being the purchase price and then the best being the terms. So as far as this goes, you know, we can, to make our offer stronger, we can up the purchase price, put the closing dates a little bit sooner, and then we could waive the inspection. That's a huge thing, but you know, I never really do recommend that. And then, yeah, we can also up the earnest money as well. Okay, so you want to do a $5,000 increase in the purchase price and then $2,000 on the earnest and then you want to do the closing date 21 days out. Alright, perfect. I'm going to change this in DocuSign right now and then I'm going to send it over um, and then once I have that, then I'll send everything over to the agent and then we'll wait at 7 o'clock to see if they take our offer. Sound good? All right, perfect. Hey, good evening. Awesome, so you're going with our offer? This is amazing news, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna give my client a call right now and then I'm going to let him know where to send the earnest money and I'll let you know when we're going to do the inspection, most likely Friday of this week. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. And then if you want, yeah, feel free to send me over the contracts whenever you're able. Perfect. Thank you. Super grateful. I was able to get my clients offer accepted, especially in this market with there being super low inventory and there being a ton of cash offers out there. However, this is just the start of the transaction. Just because we have an offer accepted doesn't mean that we are for sure going to close. The, the seller side could cancel and the buy side could cancel. So there's a lot of things up in the air still right now. But overall, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I wanted to show you basically the behind the scenes of you know a real estate deal not just all the oh this offer got accepted i want to show you the behind the scenes of me actually talking to the agents me talking to the clients giving my thoughts but overall thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it